Good day, this is Professor Timothy Kentop at the University of the Virgin Islands. We're going to walk through quickly how to access GRC Shields Up to assess the network activity on firewall ports for a given device. The first thing we're going to do is open a Google prompt and type in the term GRC in all caps and then all one word, Shields Up. And uh, the first first option that should come up, if it isn't listed first, look for it. It'll say Internet Vulnerability Profiling. You want to click on this option. And the first thing, uh, I'm going to make this screen a little larger here. The first thing that you're going to see is a splash screen that welcomes you, and it explains uh, a bit about uh, the security options and criteria that... Uh, Gibson Research Corporation, that's the GRC part, is all about. In order to use Shields Up, you have to click Proceed. And uh, basically, it's going to give you the host name that it thinks your device is using. In this case, I'm on St. Croix, and I'm using Broadband VI. And when I connected to their wireless, it assigned a host name of STX. 194.164.broadband.vi and that just tells you what your device looks like out on the open internet. It'll also uh, show an IP address down below. It's always good to take a look at that. It should be a public IP address. But you click proceed and the next screen that presents will offer you a range of options for the test. The one that we want is the one that says all service ports. So each of these options are thin silver buttons and they can be a little confusing. But you don't want common ports or file sharing. Those are specific tests and it's always good to check those. But if you hit all service ports, this is the option that we want. It verifies the public IP address that your device is connecting to the public network, to the internet with. And then it runs a series of uh, assessments on each network port to see what is shielded in green. That's the stealth. Everything should be green. If the, if the firewall is not shielding a port, and that's bad, then the port could be closed or open. But the important point here is that if it's anything other than green, Someone on the outside, on the, inter on the internet, can basically reach out and detect the status of that given port, whether it's open or closed. And they'll note the fact that, hmm, this isn't protected by the firewall. So you want your firewall to filter the network activity to those ports. That's the stealth, that's the green. You don't want anything that's blue, and you certainly don't want anything that's red. In this case, you'll see there's a pattern that's revealed. It could be that this device has a certain number of uh, ports that are open. One good thing about the color coding in GRC Shields Up is that if you hold your mouse pointer over a colored uh, square, it'll tell you the port number, so you don't have to try to count over from the index. That's a really small index. And uh, it'll also tell you uh, basically what protocol or what potential exploit is used on that port. So here it's telling you something about uh, 411, that's a remote protocol. 382 is an HP managed node. There could be some HP software running on a device or on the, a wireless network device. Maybe the HP printer is connected on the wireless. So some of the activity that you're seeing on this screen, particularly with mobile devices, it could be that um, some of this color is coming from other devices that are also connected on the same wireless. If you're on a PC or a laptop, everything should be green because your, your PC or laptop, whether it's a Mac or it's Windows, has a host firewall that should turn everything green. Um, Smartphones and tablets in particular do not have built-in firewalls. 
And so this is a really important test to run where those mobile devices are concerned because you want to see if the wireless mobile, if your wireless router and its built-in firewall is doing the job. Just like a bad apple sp uh, spoils the whole barrel, um, an infected device on your wireless network can open up a lot of exposure on the public internet for other devices in your wireless environment. So again, this is an important thing. You'll see here the test result shows it failed. Um, if you're interested in sending these results on to a, you know, a subject matter expert, if you click the text summary, it uh, gives you a great uh, printout of each of those ports. It shows you how many were open, how many were closed, how many were stealth. And uh, it did say that uh, no ports were found to be open, but it did show which ones were open unprotected by the firewall and that's the part that you want to highlight and then copy and paste into into uh, an email and send it on to uh, someone that can help you with it and this concludes our review of how to use shields up on the web uh, one good benefit of using shields up is that when you connect to shields up even though it's testing your own network firewall, the information that it sends back and forth to your screen is encrypted across a TLS connection so that basically um, that information isn't traveling across the internet and then somebody else knows, you know, just just how uh, colorful your, your network access is. So that's, that's the other reason why we like Shields Up. It gives us uh, a chance to, to view what's going on and uh, it's not like anybody else can see that uh, see that information. So that is uh, padlocked here. It is encrypted, and and you're the only one that sees that. Um, I encourage you to go ahead and take a look at the rest of the information, and the rest of the features and functionality that are provided by GRC and Gibson Research. Uh, they have some some great tools, and they have some great services. So you can check for other security. Uh, other security issues. You can check to see how good your passwords are. This is a great website just to see how your uh, local security is doing. Quick way to assess things. This concludes our session on GRC Shields Up. This is Professor Timothy Kentop, once again, University of the Virgin Islands in the Computer Science Department. Take care. Tune in again.